pH testing part two. So the other day I did a test of this meter I got from Amazon. It was only around nine bucks, but it had a 4.1 star rating with over 47,000 reviews, I think. So I thought if it had that kind of a rating, it couldn't be all bad. But I tested it, and then the comments kept saying this thing sucks. It can't read anything more than 7.5 most of the time. So today I'm going to test the dirt with one of my better blueberry plants and see if it's more acidic than the unhealthy one that read 7.5. So we're going to plug it in and wait a few minutes and see if it changes. If it keeps reading 7.5, either this is a super plant or this thing might not be worth anything. So stay tuned. All right, after sitting in the dirt for several minutes, it looks like it's still 7.5. So the comments are looking like they know what they're talking about. And this thing could just be a children's toy they're selling and people don't know how to use it. So I'm going to do some more extreme tests in a part three. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.